Hey, hey, yo, Retro World, Toys and Games, we're going to do another unboxing today. Bradley wanted to do a video himself, so today Bradley is going to take over the reins of the video making uh, fun, and he's going to unbox Elite 82, is it? Elite yes. Series 82, Jerry the King Lawler. Um, yeah, look for some good times, I'll be in the background, throwing in my opinions, asking some questions, trying to get some discussion going. I want to, I, when we do these unboxings, I don't want to just... Show how hard it is to get them out. And then look at look at this guy. Oh, look, he's got a butt. Oh. I want to actually discuss the figure. I want to discuss the person. I want to talk about some of the matches that I remember, if they're like a legend, or what Bradley knows about them, if they're current. Because um, I really don't watch much current wrestling. It's not really entertaining to me uh, anymore. Even though I did it for 25 years. Not really entertained by it. Uh, but the figures are super cool, uh, especially this Jerry Lawler figure. It's something I love. I actually bought one. For myself, for my own collection at home, even though I don't collect uh, these. So, stick around. We're going to cut to Bradley. He's got a fun video lined up for you, and we're going to discuss. Go to Bradley. And then you grab the scissors there, just right over here. Whoa. Right here. All right, guys, right from the YouTube page, I'm taking over for this video because I like the Mattel figures. So yeah, this is Elite Series 82, let's see if you can see that, it's leggy, Elite 82, Jerry the King Lawler, on the side you get a beautiful picture of him, one thing I like about Mattel figures, same pictures right here, I really don't like that, on the back, the bio reads says, throughout the new generation, the King provided color commentary on Raw, and clashed with the legends like Brett Hitman Hart and Rowdy Roddy Piper inside the ring. Yeah, who else was on the set? Keith Lee, Finn Balor, John Morrison, Alexa Bliss, Gronk, Jerry King. Gronk from Buffalo. Yeah, from Buffalo. Tell them the story about Holly and you seeing Gronk downtown. Yeah, we were just driving to the canal side. And, and my sister... She was little at the time, too. Yeah, like, Gronk had, like, a little show on Nickelodeon or whatever it was. Holly was binge-watching that like crazy. So when she saw him, she knew right away that was Gronk. He was just walking to Tim Hortons. Yeah, right, right they were, it was right outside of the Sabres Stadium downtown. It was a Tim Hortons there in an in intersection. And we were the first car at the red light. And two big guys walked past the front of the car. Um, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking somewhere else. And Holly yells out, look, there's Gronk. And as I'm saying, no, Holly, that's not Gronk. It's some other guy. All of a sudden, right in front of my car, it was Gronk. Right there. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Did you guys open up the window and yell anything to him? No. Adam? Looked like he was having fun. Yeah. You having a good time. All right. Now, continue on to this. Jerry King Lawler again right here. And once again, same picture. But, all right, guys. I'm going to cut in to Jerry Lawler. I'll see you guys in a second. All right. I completely lost my footage because the phone crashed. But, here is the King unboxed with none of his accessories but you know what we're gonna do this mdt style go through go through all the accessories first then we're gonna run through the figure all right so first we got this beautiful cloth robe is this a robe dad would you consider this to be a robe yeah it's a robe all right beautiful cloth robe beautiful detail on everything about this figure i've seen it looks amazing but yeah, that's a that's a cloth robe comes with a string so you can tie around his neck. Here is the crown, a beautiful skull in my opinion. I personally love this crown. Crown looks absolutely beautiful. Hold on, let's see if it can get down. It's looking right there for people right here. Hello, and I dropped it. Okay. Beautiful crown sculpt for Jerry the King Lawler, as deserved because he is a king. All right, and out of the package, he comes with fist hands because pretty much all he did was punch. That's all he had to do. Yeah. He's, he was so good at selling and telling a story and psychology that it literally got to the point where he could punch the whole time. Yeah. I one time saw like a 45-minute match. That's all he did was sell and punch. And it was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Do you remember who it was against? Kerry Von Erich. Dude, I need to watch that. You need to find that somewhere. You need to watch that like right now. All right, but now we're going to get to the figure. They're actually longer. Has Mike holding hands out of the package. 
in my personal opinion, and I feel like a lot of Mattel League collectors slash pick fighters would also agree with me. Mike holding hands should come with literally every single figure to exist. I, it's just a fact of life that every figure should have. Alright. That beautiful wrist tape on them. Beautiful painted on singlet, in my opinion. I love it. I love the singlet. I love the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks amazing, in my opinion. The hair. Good. Just look at the detail on the hair. Look how good it looks. Hair is good. Yeah, and one of my favorite parts about this, besides all the detail, is another detailing thing. Yellow pad, if it'll focus. I don't think it's going to focus. Put your hand behind it. I can't see it on here to see if it focused. Nope, not working. Alright, but yeah, that's the top half of Jerry the King. Bottom half has a normal crotch. Painted blue. The, 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 look at the attention to detail on him, though. It's crazy. I know. It's the attention to detail that they gave this figure, dude. It's amazing. I love it. Now on the boots, we have the crown, which I personally love. Crown, crown. And yeah, we went to the figure. Now we're going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in a second. I personally think that this figure is one of the best figures of the year. That figure right there. It's, it's, a, it's so far the figure of 2021, in my opinion. That is super cool. And I'm not really into the elites or the, I mean, the metal. I mean, they're super cool. Yeah. They're awesome. It's just, as a collector, I'm an adult collector. I collect what I had as a kid, which is the LGNs. The LGNs, the LGNs. I haven't broken the seal yet on Hasbro's. I'm afraid to. As any adult collector knows, you you know when that uh, when that figure itch is going to happen for a certain line so you try to avoid getting one yeah. or two uh, but I'm afraid Hasbro's are next but these elites are super cool they're detailed they have more uh, articulation. I love the legend series obviously with the yeah. guys from when I was a kid so and a lot of them I got to rustle really? so I think it's super cool um, and that gives me kind of an out um, I bought a few legends figures for myself I got this Jerry Lawler for myself because it looks so cool um, but I usually keep it like the reason why I got Jerry Lawler was because it looks so awesome I couldn't resist um, other the legends, either they look really cool the way they made them, or I might have rustled them in the past. So I definitely want to have a collection of guys I've legends that I've rustled. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to collect. But I know you collect every one because you take my money for them. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's that's what they are. But I mean, they're very good figures. Explain to me a little bit more though about what makes them different. Like what makes that different from the basic figure? Uh, more articulation, like especially with the newer basics. This one is in the shot dip. Rick Flair. Oh, it's playing the shot. All right. The bicep rotation is no longer there. They got rid of that. Bicep rotation. Yes, yeah, like Jerry King Waller has right here, where you can rotate uh -huh. the bicep. Why'd they get rid of that? Um, money costs, I guess. Just to keep it down so they can keep it more affordable. I guess so. I, I guess that one's more like for kids to play with, and the elites are more for like an adult collector. Or people who like to take pictures of the new matches like I do. Oh, pick pick fetting you call? Yes. It? Or stop motion, whatever one you do. Stop motion like Gumby? Yes. Yeah, and they also got rid of the boot of the boot cut right here. You just in the shot dev? I can't see it. Your finger's blocking it, but yeah. Yeah, right here that there's supposed to be a boot cut. Like so that boot doesn't move. But that boot does. It, it's tight, so I can't. So now those are things that just elites have and well you could see it clearly. Yeah. Put the crown on Rick Flair, see what happened. Yeah, we gotta do that. I don't have any belts for the Flair. Oh. You ain't touching my Hogan belt. I didn't bring any with me. I think I, thought, I, think I have a million dollar belt around here. So yeah, I, I have some in here. In your bag of tricks? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's perfect for Flair, yeah. Perfect. Put a belt on Flair. All right, Dad, keep talking about Jerry Lawler for a second. Well, what I want to say is a lot of times when we do these unboxings, we discuss fantasy bookings. How cool would it be? I forgot what year it was. Was it 86? I think uh, Flair was like the NWA champion. Lawler was the AWA champion. Ooh. Could you imagine Flair versus Lawler at like a Starcade or something with both those belts on the line? King, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo. 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 Well, oh, that's a different guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think fantasy booking that would be 
I'm sure they've fought many times. Lawler and Savage. Savage was in Memphis at one time, I believe. So. Double X handle. I'm sure there's plenty of matches there. Um, what about Bradley? Now this, I mean, this is even a little touch before my time. But what are your thoughts on the whole, you know who Andy Kaufman is, the comedian. Oh, yeah. And you kind of, you know, from seeing the movies and hearing me talk about him, I think you should watch some more YouTube videos on the way he was. He was just weird. Like, he would go for the weirdest reactions from the crowd. What are your thoughts on Jerry Lawler versus Andy Kaufman? Dude, I heard about that, and I want the Jax 2-pack of them. I need it. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's they, probably they expensive. Yeah. You're going to have to do a lot of mowing of the lawn to get that one. But, uh... Yes. No, the I remember the slap oh, yeah. on Letterman. I did see that. <laughs> Dude, that slap was amazing. <laughs> I mean, that was unbelievable. And at the time, being from in the New York area, I mean, we had access to other shows like NWA and AWA, but I didn't know who Jerry Lawler was just from the magazines because the magazines I would read and get, kind of know who these other guys were, but I never saw Jerry Lawler on TV because I only had AWA, NWA, and mostly in my area was WWF was the big thing. Yeah. But when I saw this guy, this wrestler, who I didn't wasn't really sure who he was, he just slapped the living piss out of Andy Kaufman. I know. I mean, oh my god, I was sh I was stunned. I know. And Andy Kaufman came back in swearing and yelling, and then they revealed years years later that it was a work. Until that movie came out, nobody knew it was a work. It was so well kayfabe. I know. That only like Lawler, Kaufman, and Kaufman's uh, manager and his friend guy there. We're the only ones that knew it was a work. I know. Nobody else did. They kayfabe it so well. And they did it so well, but that's a testament to Jerry Lawler. He saw the, the money that could be made there bringing the big Hollywood star. He also protected him. Yeah. But it wasn't like he didn't just let him in the ring to wrestle a full match against Jerry Lawler. Or no. It was a joke. He finally, you know, they played it up. They played a little spot, and then he got him. Boom. One move, Kaufman was done, which is it added to the realism the way it should be. Um, nowadays, I, it's not like that. Um, nowadays, Bad Bunny comes in and does a Canadian Destroyer. On the he did side. really well, though. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you got to give him credit for... He clearly loves what what we do, this business that I was in and, and these guys. Not only is it a testament to how much he loves it and respects it, because he did very well. He took it very seriously. Yeah. He, he did it our way. And what about the professionalism of the Miz and John Morrison? Carrying him the entire time. Well, I mean, they carried him very much so, but they were such professionals the way they did it. And Bad Bunny, I mean, he did he did amazing. He did really well yeah. for a celebrity coming in. But back in my day, the celebrity would get in the ring. Not much would happen. One move, they'd be done. Look at that. That's the way it should have been. Is it good in frame? It's been, oh, yeah. It's right in there. Nice. But, yeah, Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, who, who do you think would win that match? Lawler or Flair in 1986? Oh, 86? 86. Can imagine them selling for each other. Just Dude, amazing. that would be awesome. Rick Flair punch him. Blood oh, everywhere. All he does is punch, Rick punch, Flair punch, chopping punch, the heck out of him. The mm. King doing the punches. Chop, punch, chop, punch. How does it end and Woo. who wins? Woo. I don't know. I would say Jerry the King Lawler does a giant punch. Ric Flair sells it a little bit better. And then, right before he falls down, Jerry King Lawler picks him up, goes for another one. Ric Flair catches him with the figure four. You know, I think it would be cool. You know how Ric Flair does a thing when you shoot him in the ropes? He puts his head down, he goes up over the top, and then goes down the thing, jumps, goes up to the top rope, and never connects. The guy usually body slams him right off. Yeah. That starts off with a big wind-up punch by Lawler. Lawler winds up, punches. Ric Flair turns, folds. Goes over the top rope, over the turnbuckle, head over tea kettle, boom, runs down the, the thing, goes up to the top rope, jumps, gets a punch in the air. One, two, three. Oh, that'd be awesome. The King leaving with the NWA Championship. I think that would be phenomenal. All right, but I believe that's about it. Do you have anything else to say, Dad? I don't have anything. It's your video. All right, sweet. Dang right of this. Right, but that's it, folks. Elite 82, Jerry the King Lawler. Do your homework. All right.